The Joey Moss Invitational Tournament always had the man himself out there playing with the athletes. This year, he might not be here, but he certainly is not forgotten. The event had around 300 Special Olympics athletes lace up their sneakers to earn their spot at Provincials, all while sharing stories of Joey. Great to see that he is still here throughout all of the athletes. I've had many come up today and just say, we wish Joey was here, uh, we miss him, we want him to be here, and I think our athletes themselves they truly embody what Joey did and they strive to be just like him. Uh, Joey will never be forgotten and this tournament is just one of the ways to show that uh, he'll live on. He was an awesome player because he was awesome at all. Any kind of sport he does, he was awesome. Well, they call it Special Olympics for something and to see the joy of everyone here, it's, it's amazing. It's infectious to be part of something like this. I really enjoy it. This is my second year. I wouldn't miss it. All of these athletes that come from all over Alberta, um, they're divisioning here to go to provincial games at the end of February in Sherwood Park. This is just amazing just because uh, just the, the tournament itself is so big for Alberta and for people with disabilities and it, just to be included in sport for Jenna is really amazing. I love the way that I get to learn different skills and I love to be in tournaments. And we always have fun, always have fun. It's just great having that support from the others, and especially when Joy Moss was live being here, because they both, they all adore, adored him. It was great. So to continue on Joey's legacy uh, with the ball hockey tournament today, uh, so many great people, so many uh, great volunteers around, which is such a hallmark of the Special Olympics community. Uh, it's, it's great to give, uh, give back, even in the little bit that we can. Oilers TV, I'm Jessica Kent.